Joey, what's it like on a movie set, huh? Do you have a dressing room? Do you have a chair with your name on it? Uh, well, yeah, yeah, I got all that going on. Yeah, listen, uh, I want you to make sure you tell Chandler that he couldn't have been more wrong. Uh-oh, uh, I gotta go, Monica. My, uh, my sushi's here. <laughs> Sorry about that. Thanks for waiting. Okay. Everybody smile. Okay. Thanks a lot. Enjoy your stay at Caesars. We hope it's togarific. <laughs> Kill me. Kill me now. Sup? Sup, dude. Take whatever you want. Just please don't hurt me. So I play a little PlayStation, huh? That's whack. <laughs> PlayStation is whack. <laughs> Sup at the whack PlayStation. Sup. <laughs> Zelda looked at the chimney sweep. Her father, the vicar, vicar, <laughs> wouldn't be home for hours. Her loins were burning. She threw caution to the wind and reached out and grabbed his... Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! This is a dirty book! Where are you going? The vicar won't be home for hours. Joey? Where did you learn that word? Where do you think? <laughs> Zelda? You found my book? Yeah, I did. <laughs> Joey, what, what are you doing going into my bedroom? Okay, well, I'm sorry. I went in there to take a nap, and I know I shouldn't have, but you got porn. Oh. <laughs> yeah, hey, you know what? I don't care. I'm not ashamed of my book. There's nothing wrong with a woman enjoying a little erotica. It's just a healthy expression of female sexuality, which, by the way, is something that you will never understand. You got porn. <laughs> Look at this clown. Just because he got a bigger boat, he thinks he can take up the whole river. Get out of the way, jackass! <laughs> Who names that boat Coast Guard, anyway? That is the Coast Guard. What are they doing out here? Coast is all the way over there. How do you get the mainsail up? Uh, rub it. <laughs> you just don't want to make your little jokey jokes, but if you do not know what you are doing out at sea, you will die at sea. Am I getting through to you, sailor? Yes. Don't just say yes. This isn't a game. Don't you could really get hurt out here. Okay, so you want to pay attention or do you want to die? <laughs> I wouldn't make a ship to shore call to Chandler. Joey, I hate to admit it, your way of sailing is a lot more fun. Yeah, yeah. Hey, why don't you give a pull on that rope? Oh, we're not sailing. Just pull on it. about taking out my assistant tag. I'll pay. <laughs> Mitch, I gotta say, it's gonna take a lot of money for me to go out on a date with a dude. <laughs> I'm not asking you to go on a date with him. Really? Because I could kind of use the money. <laughs> so, will you talk to him? I don't know, Rach. Oh, come on. I'll give you ten free Ralph Lauren shirts. One. <laughs> no, ten. You said ten. You can't take that back. <laughs> uh, woo Die hard. Still great. Yeah. <laughs> hey, what do you say we make it a double feature? What else did you rent? Die Hard 2. <laughs> Joey, this is Die Hard 1 again. Oh. But we watch it a second time and it's Die Hard 2. <laughs> oh, we were playing this game I learned at work. You have to name all the states in six minutes. Joey? <laughs> Say hello to the new champ of Chandler's Dumb States Game. <laughs> wow, how many you got? 56. 
when a guy breaks up with his girlfriend, what is an appropriate amount of time to wait before you make a move? Oh, I'd say about a month. Really? Mm. I'd say three to four. Half hour. <laughs> Rach, the big question is, does he like you? Right? Because if he doesn't like you, this is all a moo point. Huh. A moo point? <laughs> yeah. It's like a cow's opinion. It just doesn't matter. It's moo. Okay, that's what I'm gonna do. Fine, take their advice. No one ever listens to me. When the package is this pretty, no one cares what's inside. Okay, I'm in my sweatpants. Bring on the food. Bring out the candy! Yeah, lady, give us candy! Joey? What's up, buddy? What are you doing? We need candy. <laughs> Candy lady? No, not candy lady. Have we know it? Can we have candy? <laughs> all right, you know what? Forget it. All of you forget it. You've ruined it. Go home. You've ruined it. You've ruined it. <laughs> you got ruined everything. You ruined it. <laughs> Joy, you know that you can just not throw the sticks up in the air. What is rock and roll about that? Joey, I got you another present. Ooh, okay, before you tell me what it is. Okay, what is it? It's a tarantula. Oh. oh, isn't this cool? Is it on me? I think I feel like it's on me. I got I... Years and years ago, there were these people called the Maccabees. Merry Christmas! Oh, Mel Torme died. Joey, the paper's like a year old. Oh, does that mean the Sam Goody sale is over? <laughs> All right, what are we having? <laughs> Infinite space. It really, really makes you wonder, doesn't it? You know what else makes you wonder? Huh? Check out the rack on this chair. <laughs> you know, there's two women do. Show me where. Right, right up here. Joey, where's the pipe that was holding the door open? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> Joey! What? All right, hey, don't look at me. You're the one that wanted to come up here and look for some stupid Burger King comment. <laughs> Do you weigh, Ross? I prefer not to answer that right now. I'm still carrying a little holiday weight. Uh, oh. uh, you know, when we talked about face to face, I don't think we thought it all the way through. So what do you want me to do? Well, just shimmy down me and drop. Uh. Right. Well, man, maybe I should hang and you should climb down me. Yeah. Maybe we should talk about that for a little while. <laughs> it still looks pretty far. It's not that far. Just drop. Do not rush me. <laughs> Ross, you should know that my pants are starting to come down and I'm not wearing any underwear. Help me move this. No, no, no. <laughs> no? No. Rosita does not move. I'm sorry. Rosita? As in... As in Rosita does not move. Joey, it's just a chair. What's the big deal? 
The big deal is that it is the exact equal distance from the bathroom to the kitchen, and it's at the perfect angle so you don't get any glare coming off of Stevie. Stevie the TV? Is there a problem? No. Get my chair back. What? Hey. Well, looks like it wasn't healed after all. So, I guess this chair's mine now. Joey, you broke my chair. Your chair? Yeah, he thought he broke your chair, so he switched the chairs. So, there was no miracle? No, Joe, no miracle. Oh, no, this is devastating. <laughs> my faith is shaking. I'm so glad I have the new chair to get me through this difficult time of my life. <laughs> Look, turning 30 is not that big a deal. Oh, really? Is that how you felt when you turned 30? Why, God, why? <laughs> So I just talked to one of the dual writers today and... What is dual? Days of our lives. <laughs> anyway, you're not going to believe it. My character is coming out of his coma. Oh, that's right. Oh, that's right. Oh, that's right. And, and, and not only that, I'm getting a new brain. <laughs> what? A brain transplant? It's ridiculous. Oh, I think it's ridiculous that you haven't had sex in three and a half months. I'm really glad you guys are okay. But I just keep thinking, what would happen if, if you two actually had hooked up? Oh. Honey, dinner's ready. What's my little chef got for me tonight? Your favorite. <laughs> Fried stuff with cheese. Yeah, and lots of it. <laughs> Thanks, sweetheart. You know, sure you how you doing? This is impossible, Monica. Why don't you just pick off 15? There were only 12. Oh, yeah, I added three. What are peanut butter fingers? Leslie? Uh, Joey, this is the awkward part. Oh, hey. Right. Not a problem. I totally understand. You need to, you know, make sure I don't have any horrible scars or tattoos. Don't you worry. I have nothing to hide. So there you go. That's me. 100% natural. That has never happened before. How about this? I vamp a little till they get there. <laughs> You'll vamp? Yeah, yeah, you know, like warm up the crowd. Ask them where they're from. Because in Joey Tribbiani, you get a minister and you get an entertainer. I'm a ministainer. Right? There's no one better. There's no one greater. Huh? Well, oh, check out what they got me to wear for the ceremony. Huh? I wear it like this when I marry you guys, and then this is for party time. <laughs> hey, Phoebes. Hey. Check it out. <laughs> huh? Let me go. The guy's hammered. I'm sorry, Joey. As long as he's here and he's conscious, we're still shooting. <laughs> you wouldn't happen to have a very big fork. <laughs> so I, uh, I just talked to the director. That's it. We're done for the day. Uh, we finished the scene. Yeah, you, you were wonderful. <laughs> As were you. <laughs> so I got your car. It's right outside. Thank you. You're welcome. No, 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 no. We got to go. Hey, come on. Here we go. <laughs> Is that my ass? You get it? I got it. 
back in the cage. It's back in the cage. The cage closed. Joey, will you just come out here and stop being such a baby? Take a moment. Our two best friends just got married. We are so blessed to be able to share in this incredible joy. That is so true. Come on, is it too late to switch from chicken to steak? <laughs> I went down to the gift shop and it was either this or a bathrobe. Look, what's more important, the way I'm dressed or me being with you on your special day? Honey, I'm not even gonna pretend I was listening. Hey, hey. Those aren't 11 and a half. Okay, fine, I'm a seven. All right, I have surprisingly small feet, but the rest of me is good, I'll show you. Uh, for the last time, I don't care what the computer says. We did not take a bag of Meshuggah nuts from the mini bar, and we did not watch Dr. Do Me a Little. Hey. Oh, Joey, uh, were you in our room last night? No. I was told the name of the movie would not appear on the bill. Hi. <laughs> This guy says, hello, I want to kill myself. The whole hat thing. And hey, you need anything, you can always come to Joey. Me and Chandler live right across the hall, and he's away a lot. Joey, stop hitting on her. It's her wedding day. What, like there's a rule or something? <laughs> what are you talking about, one woman? That's like saying there's only one flavor of ice cream for you. Let me tell you something, Ross. There's lots of flavors out there. There's Rocky Road and Cookie Dough and Bing, Cherry Vanilla. You can get them with jimmies or nuts mm. or whipped cream. This is the best thing that ever happened to you. You got married. You were like, what, eight? <laughs> Great story. But uh, I gotta go. I got a date with Andrea. Angela. Andrea. Oh, man. Andrea's the screamer. Angela has cats. Right, thanks. It's Julie. I'm out of here. Joey, what would you do if you were omnipotent? Probably kill myself. Excuse me? Hey, if little Joey's dead, then I got no reason to live. Huh? <laughs> Joey, uh, omnipotent. You are? You know what blows my mind? Women can see breasts anytime they want. You just look down and there they are. How you get any work done is beyond me. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. That seems pretty cool. Hey, Angela. Joey. You look good. That's because I'm wearing a dress that accents my boobs. <laughs> You don't say. <laughs> My agent has just gotten me a job in the new Al Pacino movie. What? Whoa! Whoa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right, seriously, Joey, what's the part? Uh, let me just go. You're you that what? I'm his butt double. Okay. <laughs> I play Al Pacino's butt. <laughs> He goes into the shower, and then I'm his butt. <laughs> Hi, everyone. <laughs> and officiating at tonight's blackout is Rabbi Tribbiani. <laughs> you do? I do. Oh, Ross, you're so great. <laughs> Never gonna happen. <laughs> he 
because you waited too long to make your move, and now you're in the friend zone. No, no, no. I'm not in the zone. Oh, Ross, you're mayor of the zone. <laughs> oh. What do you got there? Uh, just a, uh, hearing disability. <laughs> What's the score? 17, 14 Giants. Three minutes to go on the third. Beautiful. <laughs> oh, you got the bigger half. What? What'd you wish for? The bigger half. <laughs> uh, I didn't get the job. Oh. Oh. How could you not get it? You were Santa last year. <laughs> I don't know. Some fat guy sleeping with the store manager. <laughs> He's not even jolly. It's all political. <laughs> I'll just pee in the street. <laughs> Is Chandler here? Yeah. Okay, come on. Okay, uh, about last night, um, you know, Chandler, you didn't tell. Okay, because I'm thinking, we don't need to tell Chandler. I mean, it was just a kiss, right? One kiss, no big deal, <laughs> right? Right. No big deal. Okay. In bizarro world. <laughs> <laughs> you broke the code. What code? You don't kiss your friend's mom. Sisters are okay. Maybe a hot-looking aunt, but not a mom. Never a mom! No! Now, here's a picture of my mother and father on their wedding day. Now, you tell me she's not a knockout. I cannot believe we're having this conversation. Come on, just try to picture her not pregnant, that's all. This is your baby. <gasps> Hi, Daddy. <laughs> How come you don't live with mommy? How come mommy lives with that other lady? <laughs> What's a lesbian? Uh, miss you too. I love you, but it's getting real late now. Say hi. Right? Hey, Ma. Listen, I made the appointment with Dr. Bazita and. Excuse me? <laughs> Did you know this isn't Ma? <laughs> I, I don't want you taking that thing to swing Oh, where am I gonna stay? Here? Whoa, ho. <laughs> we'll go to a hotel. Go to a hotel. No, you won't. No, we won't. If you go to a hotel, you'll be doing stuff. <laughs> I want you right here where I can keep an eye on you. You're gonna keep an eye on us. That's right, mister. And I don't care how old you are. As long as you're under my roof, no. you're gonna live by my roof. <laughs> Can you stop yelling? You're making me nervous and... <laughs> I can't go when I'm nervous. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, you're right. I've been able to pick up quarters with my toes. Yeah. Good for you. <laughs> uh, quarters or rolls of quarters? <laughs> she said she wants to slather my body with stuff and then lick it off. I'm not even sure what slathering is. <laughs> but I definitely want to be a part of it. <laughs> okay, you cannot do this to me. You're right. I'm sorry. You're right. Okay. Uh, can we have three chocolate mousses to go, please? I'm out of here. <laughs> How can I dump this woman on Valentine's Day? I don't know. You dumped her on New Year's. <laughs> oh, man. In my next life, I'm coming back as a toilet brush. <laughs> Hello, funny Valentine. <laughs> Hi, just Janice. <laughs> Hello, Joey, our little matchmaker. I could just kiss you all over and I'm gonna. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> if you don't do it, I will. Okay, try the salmon mousse. Mmm, good. Yeah, is it better than the other salmon mousse? It's creamier. 
Yeah? Well, is that better? I don't know. We're talking about whipped fish, Monica. <laughs> I'm just happy I'm keeping it down, huh? <laughs> Come on. You like this woman, right? Well, yeah. You want to see her again, right? Sure. But if you can't talk dirty to me, how are you going to talk dirty to her? Now tell me you want to caress my butt. <laughs> oh, have either one of you guys ever been to the Rainbow Room? Is it real expensive? Well, only if you order stuff. <laughs> I'm taking Ursula tonight. It's her birthday. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What about Phoebe's birthday? When's that? Oh. <laughs> tonight. Oh. Man, what are the odds of that happening? <laughs> you take your time. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Joey, I'm a little shy. That's okay, Ross. You can ask me. <laughs> Hey, I don't need violence to enjoy a movie, just so long as there's a little nudity. There was nudity. I meant female nudity. All right, I don't need to see Lou Grant frolicking. Hugh! Hugh, Hugh, Hugh Grant! Grant. <laughs> Joey Peponi. Oh, still too ethnic. My agent thinks I should have a name that's more neutral. Joey Switzerland? Plus, you know, I think it should be Joe. You know, Joey makes me sound like I'm, I don't know, this big. Which I'm not. <laughs> Joe, Joe, Joe. Stalin? <laughs> Stalin. <laughs> Stalin. Do I know that name? That sounds familiar. Well, it does not ring a bell with me. Huh. <laughs> Joe Stalin. <laughs> you know, that's pretty good. <laughs> You might want to try Joseph. <laughs> Joseph Stalin. I think you'd remember that. Oh, yes. <laughs> bye Bye Birdie, starring Joseph Stalin. Joseph Stalin is the fiddler on the roof. <laughs> you know, there already is a Joseph Stalin. You're kidding. Apparently, he was this Russian dictator who slaughtered all these people. You'd think you would have known that. You know, you'd think I would have. Phoebe, what do you think a good stage name for me would be? Flame Boy. I don't know. She's, uh, she's pretty great. Yeah? What does she think of your little... Science project. <laughs> what, you think I'm gonna tell a girl I like that I'm also seeing a cup? Hold on there, Tiger. How's it going? How you holding up? Well, not so good. She definitely thinks tonight's the night we're gonna complete the transaction, if you know it. <laughs> and you do. <laughs> so, uh, have you ever thought about being there for her? What do you mean? <laughs> You know, just be there for her. Not following you. It's like, last night, I couldn't do the thing that usually makes me great. So I had to do all this other stuff. And the response I got, man, oh man, it was like a ticker tape parade. <laughs> yes, I know, as it happens, my room is very, very close to the parade route. Hi, uh, I'll be reading for the role of Mercutio. Name? Holden McGroin. <laughs> ooh, ooh, you smell great tonight. Uh, what are you wearing? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, uh, you want to go get a drink or something? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, what's wrong? I just remembered I have to do something. Oh, what? Um, uh, leave. Yeah. Oh, wait, 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 wait.
So I guess you all saw it. <laughs> what? Saw what? No, we're just laughing. You know how laughter can be infectious. <laughs> Bathroom, living room, this right here is the kitchen, and uh, thanks for coming by. Bye-bye. Don't you, uh, don't you want to ask me any questions? Sure. Uh, hmm. What's up? Well, uh, I'm an actor. I'm fairly neat. I, uh, I got my own TV. Oh, and don't worry, I'm totally okay with the gay thing. <laughs> what gay thing? Uh, just, you know, in general, the whole pe people being gay thing. Totally cool with that. The heat. <clears throat> <laughs> and, and the humidity. Yeah. That's a, uh, that's a tough combination. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to come in for some lemonade? Like you wouldn't believe. <laughs> oh. so this place is really my grandmother's. I got it from her when she moved to Florida. Otherwise, I could never afford a place like this. So if the landlord ever asks, I'm an 87-year-old woman who's afraid of her VCR. You thirsty? Oh, you bet I am. <laughs> Okay, here's your penis. You said you want to come in for some lemonade. So? Yeah, yeah, ah. Were you just going to give me lemonade? Yeah! -ha! Cover yourself up. Oh, right. Sorry. I don't believe this. I mean, someone asked you in for lemonade, and, and to you that means they want to have sex? Um, usually, yeah. Well, not just lemonade. Iced tea, sometimes juice. Monica and Rachel had syrup. Uh, uh, now I can get my man to cheer up. <laughs> Good morning, Joey. Good morning. You know, every time she starts laughing, I just want to... pull my arm off just so I have something to throw at her. Oh, hey, Chandler, we, uh, we stopped by the coffee shop and uh, ran into Ross. Oh, God. Hey, if it makes you feel any better, I do it, too. <laughs> really? Oh, yeah. I always picture your mom when I'm having sex. So, in the words of A.A. A. Milne, get out of my chair, deal hole. <laughs> okay. What are you doing? Well, you said I had to give you the chair. You didn't see anything about the cushions. The cushions are the essence of the chair. That's right. I'm taking the essence. <laughs> Where's my underwear? Whoa, 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 whoa. Come on, come on, what? You took his underwear? He took my essence. Okay, hold on. Joey, why, why can't you just wear the underwear you're wearing now? Because I'm not wearing any underwear now. Okay, um, then why do you have to wear underwear tonight? It's a rented tux, okay? Not gonna go commando in another man's fatigue. Okay, you hide my clothes, I'm gonna do the exact opposite to you. What are you, what are you gonna show me my clothes? Hey, opposite is opposite. He's got nothing! Okay, buddy boy, here it is. You hide my clothes, I'm wearing everything you own. Oh, my God! 
That is so not the opposite of taking somebody's underwear. Look at me. I'm Chandler. Could I be wearing any more clothes? Maybe if I wasn't going commando. Yeah. Whew. I'll tell you, it's hot with all this stuff on. I, uh, I better not do any, I don't know, lunges. Okay, okay. See, Joe, that's why your parents told you not to jump on the bed. What is this? Fruit? <laughs> Monica's making jam. Whoa, jam? I love jam. Hey, how come we never have jam at our place? Because the kids need new shoes. Remember when you were a kid and your mom would drop you off at the movies with a jar of jam and a little spoon? You're so pretty. Joe, I gotta ask. The girl from the Xerox place, buck naked, or, or a big tub of jam? Put your hands together. All right, how's this? 27, Italian-American guy. He's an actor, born in Queens. Wow, big family. Seven sisters. And he's the only boy. Oh, my God. Under personal comments, New York Knicks rule. Yeah, the Knicks rule. Joey, this is you. Let me see. <laughs> All right. Yeah. I called the sperm bank today. They haven't sold a single unit of Tribbiani. Nobody wants my product. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I don't get it, you know? I mean, maybe if they met me in person. Honey, yeah, you got a little thing in your... Oh. <laughs> get it? Yeah. It seems to me it's pretty much like anything else, you know? Face your fear. You have a fear of heights? You go to the top of the building. You're afraid of bugs. Get a bug. <laughs> right? It's not a part, no. I'm teaching acting for soap operas down at the learning extension. Come on, that's great. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, like, it's like my chance to give something back to the acting community. You know, you're probably not allowed to sleep with any of your students. <laughs> I know. Okay, some tricks of the trade. Now, I've never been able to cry as an actor, so if I'm in a scene where I have to cry, I cut a hole in my pocket, take a pair of tweezers, and just start pulling. Okay. Or, uh, or let's say I want to convey that I've uh, just done something evil. Well, that would be your basic, I've got a fish hook in my eyebrow, and I like it. Okay, let's say I've just gotten bad news. Well, all I do there is try and divide 232 by 13. <laughs> Ross, yeah. I got a science question. Mm. If the Homo sapiens were, in fact, Homo sapiens, <laughs> is that why they're extinct? Joey, homo sapiens are people. Hey, I'm not judging. I'm just... Pick a card, any card. All right, now memorize it. Show it to everybody. Got it? Mm -hmm. All right, give it back to me. <laughs> Five of hearts. Real magic does exist. Wow. Wow. Joey, how do you do it? I can't tell you that. No. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. You really want to know how I did it? I'll show you. When you handed me back the card, what you didn't see was I looked at it so fast, it was invisible to the naked eye. I just did it. Just did it again. Here, I'll slow it down so you guys can see it. Ready? Oh, my God. Yeah. Okay. Three years.
years of modern dance with Twyla Tharp. Five years with the American Ballet Theater. Hey, everybody lies on their resume, okay? I wasn't one of the Zoom kids either. Can you, like, dance at all? Yeah, I can dance, you know. Oh, no, 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 no. Well, you know what? She's with him. And you'll be all, oh, man. And he'll be all, yes. Right? And us, we'll be like, oh, dude. Right? And pretty soon, you'll be like, hi. And, and, and oh, I can't go. Rachel and Mark might be there. And we'll be like, man, get over it. It's been four years. He paints quite a picture, doesn't he? Uh, jobs do, uh, whoa. Joey? Joey Tribbiani. <laughs> Joey, I can see you, okay? You're hiding behind the coats. That's the girl I was hiding from. When she finds out he's my roommate, she's gonna tell him what I did. What, what did you do? Oh, 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 no, no, I can't. <laughs> that night I cooked this really romantic dinner. You gave her food poisoning. I wish. <laughs> After dinner, me, her, and Pepper all fell asleep in front of the fire. Well, I woke up in the middle of the night and I saw that the fire was dying out, so I picked up a log and threw it on. <laughs> Or at least what I thought was a log. Oh, my God! You threw Pepper on the fire. I wish. <laughs> See, I guess another thing I probably should have told you about Ginger is that she kind of has a, uh, artificial leg. <laughs> oh, my God! Joey, what did you do after you threw her leg on the fire? I ran! Can I see the comics? <clears throat> this is the New York Times. Okay, may I see the comics? <laughs> oh, mommy. Oh, daddy. I am a big old daddy. Oh, mommy. Oh, daddy. I am a big old daddy. Where do I know you from? Dr. Drake Remore. <laughs> Days of our lives. Voted most dateable neurosurgeon by Team B. That infomercial. For the milk carton spout thing. You're, you're the guy who doesn't know how to pour milk. See, I actually can pour milk, but I got you believing that I couldn't. <laughs> now, see, that's acting. All right, at the end, you choked on a cookie. Yeah, that was real. <laughs> Don, this spaceship. And I'm gonna go to Blargon 7 in search of alternative fuels. So you tell your great, great granddaughter to look me up. Because Adrian, baby, I'm gonna wanna meet her. Which means I have five, and that means I get Joey's boxers. Fine, gang up on me. I got you all right where I want you. Come on, take them off. Actually, you know, it's kind of cold, so how about I keep my boxers on and give you all a peek at the good stuff? <laughs> With him? Really? Because I could kind of use the money. <laughs> so, will you talk to him? I don't know, Rach. Oh, come on. I'll give you 10 free Ralph Lauren shirts. One. No, 10. You said 10. You can't take that back. Uh, Woo Die hard. Still great. Yeah. <laughs> hey, what do you say we make it a double feature? What else you're in? Die hard, too. Joey, this is Die Hard 1 again. Oh. Well, we watch it a second time, and it's Die Hard, too. 
while we were playing this game, I learned at work, you have to name all the states in six minutes. Joey? <laughs> Say hello to the new champ of Chandler's Dumb States Game. <laughs> well, how many you got? 56. <laughs> When a guy breaks up with his girlfriend, what is an appropriate amount of time to wait before you make a move? Oh, I'd say about a month. Really? Mm -hmm. I'd say three to four. Half hour. <laughs> Rach, the big question is, does he like you? Right? Because if he doesn't like you, this is all a moo point. <laughs> huh. A moo point? <laughs> yeah. It's like a cow's opinion. Doesn't matter. <laughs> it's moo. Okay, that's what I'm gonna do. Fine, take their advice. <laughs> no one ever listens to me. When the package is this pretty, no one cares what's inside. <laughs> okay, I'm in my sweatpants. Bring on the food. Bring out the candy! Yeah, lady, give us candy! <laughs> Joey? What's up, buddy? What are you doing? Winning candy. <laughs> candy lady? <laughs> You're not candy lady. Hey, we know it. Can we have candy? <laughs> all right, you know what? Forget it. All of you forget it. You've ruined it. Go home. You've ruined it. You've ruined it. <laughs> you got ruined everything. You ruined it. <laughs> Just not throw the sticks up in the air. What is rock and roll about that? <laughs> hey, Joey, I got you another present. Ooh, well, wait before you tell me what it is. Okay, what is it? It's a tarantula. <laughs> oh, isn't this cool? Is it on me? I, th I feel like it's on me. I got me. <laughs> years ago, there were these people called the Maccabees. Merry Christmas! <laughs> oh, Mel Torme died. Joey, that paper's like a year old. Oh, does that mean the Sam Goody sale is over? <laughs> space really really makes you wonder doesn't it mm. you know what else makes you wonder huh check out the rack on this chair <laughs> you know there's two women do show me where right right up here Joey, where's the pipe that was holding the door open? I don't know. <laughs> I was told the name of the movie would not appear on the bill. Hi. <laughs> this guy says, hello, I want to kill myself. The whole hat thing. And hey, if you need anything, you can always come to Joey. Me and Chandler live right across the hall, and he's away a lot. Stop hitting on her. It's her wedding day. What? Like there's a rule or something? <laughs> what are you talking about? One woman. <laughs> That's like saying there's only one flavor of ice cream for you. Let me tell you something, Ross. There's lots of flavors out there. There's Rocky Road and Cookie Dough and Bing! Cherry Vanilla. <laughs> you can get them with jimmies or nuts mm. or whipped cream. <laughs> this is the best thing that ever happened to you. You got married. You were like, what, eight? <laughs> Great story. But uh, I gotta go. I got a date with Andrea. Angela. Andrea. Oh, man. Andrea's the screamer. Angela has cats. <laughs> right, thanks. It's Julie. I'm out of here. Joey, what would you do if you were omnipotent? Probably kill myself. Uh, excuse me? Hey, if little Joey's dead, then I got no reason to live. Huh? 
Joey, uh, omnipotent. You are? You know what blows my mind? Women can see breasts anytime they want. You just look down and there they are. How you get any work done is beyond me. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. That seems pretty cool. Hey, Angela. Joey. You look good. That's because I'm wearing a dress that accents my boobs. <laughs> You don't say. <laughs> My agent has just gotten me a job in the new Al Pacino movie. Whoa! 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 Good Good job. Job. Good job. All right, seriously, Joey, what's the part? Uh, let me see. You're you're la 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 what? I'm his butt double. Okay. <laughs> I play Al Pacino's butt. He goes into the shower, and then I'm his butt. <laughs> and officiating at tonight's placard is Rabbi Tribbiani. You do? I do. Oh, Ross, you're so great. <laughs> Never gonna happen. <laughs> because you waited too long to make your move, and now you're in the friend zone. No, no, no. I'm not in the zone. Oh, Ross, you're mayor of the zone. <laughs> oh. What do you got there? Uh, just a, uh, hearing disability. <laughs> What's the score? 17, 14 Giants. Three minutes to go on the third. Beautiful. <laughs> oh, you got the bigger half. What'd you wish for? The bigger half. <laughs> uh, I didn't get the job. Oh. How could you not get it? You were Santa last <laughs> Yeah, I do. Hey, don't look at me. You're the one that wanted to come up here and look for some stupid Burger King comment. <laughs> oh, my. How much do you weigh, Ross? <laughs> I prefer not to answer that right now. I'm still carrying a little holiday weight. <laughs> uh, oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you know, when we talked about face-to-face, -face, I don't think we thought it all the way through. What do you want me to do? Well, just shimmy down me and drop. Oh. <laughs> All right. Well, maybe I should hang and you should climb down me. Yeah. Maybe we should talk about that for a little while. <laughs> it still looks pretty far. It's not that far. Just drop. Do not rush me. <laughs> My pants are starting to come down, and I'm not wearing any underwear. Hey, come on, help me move this. No, no, no. No? No. Rosita does not move. I'm sorry. Rosita? As in... As in Rosita does not move. Joey, it's just a chair. What's the big deal? The big deal is that it is the exact equal distance from the bathroom to the kitchen, and it's at the perfect angle so you don't get any glare coming off of Stevie. Stevie the TV? Is there a problem? No. I'm getting my chair back. What? Hey. Well, looks like it wasn't healed after all. So, I guess this chair's mine now. Joey, you broke my chair. Your chair? Yeah, he thought he broke your chair, so he switched the chairs. So there was no miracle? No, Joe, no miracle. 
Oh no, this is devastating. <laughs> my faith is shaking. I'm so glad I have the new chair to get me through this difficult time of my life. <laughs> Look, turning 30 is not that big a deal. Oh, really? Is that how you felt when you turned 30? Why, God, why? <laughs> we had a deal. Let the others grow old, not me. <laughs> So I just talked to one of the duel writers today, and... What is duel? Days of our lives. <laughs> anyway, you're not going to believe it. My character is coming out of his coma. Oh, that's right. Yeah. And, and, and not only that, I'm getting a new brain. <laughs> what? A brain transplant? It's ridiculous. Oh, well, I think it's ridiculous that you haven't had sex in three and a half months. I'm really glad you guys are okay. But I just keep thinking, what would happen if, if you two actually had hooked up? Oh. Honey, dinner's ready. What's my little chef got for me tonight? Your favorite. <laughs> Fried stuff with cheese. Yeah, and lots of it. <laughs> Thanks, sweetheart. You want to go? Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh. How you doing? This is impossible, Monica. Why don't you just pick off 15? There were only 12. Oh, yeah, I added three. What are peanut butter fingers? Oh, yeah. Joey, what's it like on a movie set, huh? Do you have a dressing room? Do you have a chair with your name on it? Uh, well, yeah, yeah, I got all that going on. Yeah, listen, uh, I want you to make sure you tell Chandler that he couldn't have been more wrong. Uh-oh, uh, I gotta go, Monica. My, uh, my sushi's here. <laughs> Sorry about that. Thanks for the wait. Okay. Everybody smile. Okay. Thanks a lot. Enjoy your stay at Caesars. We hope it's togarific. <laughs> Kill me. Kill me now. Sup? Oh <laughs> Sup, so. so, dude. Take whatever you want. Just please don't hurt me. So I play a little PlayStation, huh? That's whack. PlayStation is whack. Sup with the whack PlayStation, sup. <laughs> Zelda looked at the chimney sweep. Her father, the vicar, vicar, <laughs> wouldn't be home for hours. Her loins were burning. She threw caution to the wind and reached out and grabbed his... Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! This is a dirty book! Where you going? The vicar won't be home for hours. Joey? Where did you learn that word? What do you think? <laughs> Zelda? You found my book? Yeah, I did. <laughs> Joey, what, what are you doing going into my bedroom? Okay, well, I'm sorry. I went in there to take a nap. And I know I shouldn't have, but you got porn. Oh. <laughs> yeah, hey, you know what? I don't care. I'm not ashamed of my book. There's nothing wrong with a woman enjoying a little erotica. It's just a healthy expression of female sexuality, which, by the way, is something that you will never understand. You got porn. <laughs> Look at this clown. Just because he got a bigger boat, he thinks he can take up the whole river. Get out of the way, jackass! Who <laughs> names that boat Coast Guard, anyway? That is the Coast Guard. What are they doing out here? The coast is all the way over there. How do you get the mainsail up? Uh, rub it. 
Okay, you just go on and make your little jokey jokes, but if you do not know what you are doing out at sea, you will die at sea. Am I getting through to you, sailor? Yes. Don't just say yes. This isn't a game. No, you could really get hurt out here. Okay, so you want to pay attention or do you want to die? I want to make a ship to shore call to Chandler. Joey, I hate to admit it, your way of sailing is a lot more fun. Yeah, yeah. Hey, why don't you give a pull on that rope? Oh, we're not sailing. Just pull on it. All right. What else? <laughs> How did you feel about taking out my assistant tag? I'll pay. <laughs> Mitch, I gotta say, it's gonna take a lot of money for me to go out on a date with a dude. <laughs> I'm not asking you to go on a date. <laughs> Leslie? Uh, Joey, this is the awkward part. Oh, hey. Right. Not a problem. I totally understand. You need to, you know... Make sure I don't have any horrible scars or tattoos. Don't you worry. I have nothing to hide. So there you go. That's me. 100% natural. That has never happened before. How about this? I vamp a little till they get there. <laughs> You'll vamp? Yeah, yeah, you know, like warm up the crowd. Ask them where they're from. Because in Joey Tribbiani, you get a minister and you get an entertainer. I'm a ministainer. Right? There's no one better. There's no one greater. Huh? Well, oh, check out what they got me to wear for the ceremony. Huh? I wear it like this when I marry you guys, and then this is for party time. <laughs> hey, Phoebes. Hey. Check it out. Huh? Let me go. The guy's hammered. I'm sorry, Joey. As long as he's here and he's conscious, we're still shooting. <laughs> you wouldn't happen to have a very big fork. <laughs> so, I, uh, I just talked to the director. That's it. We're done for the day. Well, uh, we finished the scene. Yeah, you, you were wonderful. <laughs> As were you. <laughs> so I got your car. It's right outside. Thank you. You're welcome. No, 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 no. We gotta go. Hey, come, come on. on. Here we go. <laughs> it's not my ass. You get it? I got it. Back in the cage. It's back in the cage. The cage closed. Joey, will you just come out here and stop being such a baby? <laughs> you guys, can we just please take a moment? Our two best friends just got married. We are so blessed to be able to share in this incredible joy. That is so true. Come on, is it too late to switch from chicken to steak? Oh, sweet lord. I'm sorry, okay? I went down to the gift shop and it was either this or a bathrobe. Look, what's more important, the way I'm dressed or me being with you on your special day? Honey, I'm not even gonna pretend I was listening. Hey! Hey! Those aren't 11 and a half. Okay, fine, I'm a seven. Surprisingly small feet, but the rest of me is good. I'll show you. Uh, for the last time, I don't care what the computer says. We did not take a bag of mashuga nuts from the mini bar, and we did not watch Doctor Doomy a little. Hey. Oh, Joey, uh, were you in our room last night? No. 